What's going on guys, Card Mechanic here, and today we're gonna be doing some pen spinning. Let's do it. Okay, so I don't know about you, but back when I was in school, I saw kids literally sitting, doing their homework, tests, or whatever, and just spinning a pen or a pencil about their thumb, uh, just like how I'm doing now, and I thought that was the coolest Thing. I'm like, if I can do that one day, it'll all be worth it. So here we are, finally put together a video for you guys to learn how to spin this pencil or pen around your thumb. So now when I actually finally learned this, I felt like one of the cool kids. And I think it's a great way to just fidget with a pen or a pencil. Um, yeah, so let's get into how to perform this uh, pen twirl. So there are a few different components to actually doing this. The first is finding the right balance. The second is getting into the setup position. The third is actually doing the twirl and the fourth is catching. Okay, so to start off in terms of balance, you do not want to balance it completely. Okay, so when balancing this out, you actually want the front to be heavier than the back. Okay, so if you were to balance it like this, you don't want this complete balance. You actually want it a bit towards the front. So now, once you've decided where that balance is on the front, we can actually get into the grip. And I'm sure there are different ways of doing it, but the way I grip is, um, I usually take this clip. Is it called a clip? If it's a pen, pencil, generally you have like a clip here, which I actually use um, as um, a way to indicate where I should be grabbing. So I get my pointer finger, boom, put it on one side, so this is, this is that clip right there. Put it right on the bottom of that clip. My thumb I actually put against, and now this index finger is not touching this, but my thumb I actually make to touch that. And my middle finger goes right next to my thumb, but not completely touching, around here. So I don't know how well of a view you can get from there. But um, that's pretty much how the um, setup grip looks. Now, once you're in the setup grip, you're gonna actually want to twirl, you know, actually do the push to twirl this uh, pen, pencil around the thumb. So you wanna make sure you're not holding it too tight. So if it's too tight, it's not gonna move, that's gonna be difficult. You want it to be at a tightness level where it can easily just do this. And if you actually let go of it, it'll start tilting downwards like this, okay? So this is, um, this index finger, or not index finger, the middle finger you have right here it's actually preventing this from slipping down like this. Okay, so again, not too tight, but not super loose where it's like this, okay? So you wanna find that right balance. So again, you get the grip, boom, got the right hold, not too tight, not super loose, but right in the center. So boom, and now here comes the part of the actual twirl. So in the twirling motion, you're actually gonna go back with your middle finger and then immediately go forward somewhat like this, okay? And you'll see the pencil moving like this. So now what you're also gonna do while this is happening, you're also gonna push forward with this index finger and it'll look something like this. But you're also coming up with your thumb, one thing I forgot to mention, your thumb isn't staying exactly where it is, my thumb is moving from here to about here. So once again, we'll see that happening. And currently, my se mine seems like it's working well because I've been doing this for a while, so it's a little difficult to mess up. But if you do, you know, if you don't do the right amount of power, you can get this. Is what I got in the beginning a lot, where it just kept on stopping right here, and that just means you're not using enough power. Now, of course, there are also situations where it goes flying, where it's like that. All right, let's do that again. Right. So if you do it too hard, it'll go flying. It may twirl like several hundred times. So you wanna really find that balance in your twirl. Now once you get that right amount of power set, you're actually gonna want the pencil to go around and you wanna be able to actually catch it. So the best way that I found to do this is after figuring out the right amount of power, right, you start around here with this pretty much palm up. You wanna actually end with the wrist tilted a little bit. So you end around here. Now you still could end here, this is a bit more difficult to do, 
but I've seen if you end like this with the twist at the end, it'll keep this uh, pencil from, you know, flying off in that direction. So here, whoops. So here, and what's actually stopping this pencil from going even further around is this thumb in this position and this index finger right here. So this way it's not really going to rotate anymore. And then of course you want to apply a bit of pressure to also grab the pen. So boom, that's all you're doing. And this does take a bit of practice. It took me remember a couple weeks in high school to actually get this down. And I remember so many times my pen when my pen went flying across the room just boom and then it was gone several times it landed in the front of the classroom I just pretended it wasn't my pen but telling you definitely a great thing to know welcome to the end screen thanks for watching make sure to go check out my patreon page to help support my channel because that'll really mean a lot to me so link to that in the description along with all my social media stuff so make sure to follow me on there as well and all that being said, I will see you in the next video.